welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to get this show going right away. And the first thing I want to say is just don't get scammed. If anybody reaches out to you, it's not me. So please don't think it is. And we're going to let that go and we're going to move right on. Okay, I will be taking callers all night long. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, um, the call-in number is uh, 845-277-9131 and um, or yeah, 845-277-9131 or you can watch live via YouTube I go live twice a week, every week, every Monday at noon and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central times. The messages I'm giving, if they're not for somebody listening right now, it might be for somebody who's listening to the show later on. Use your own discernment, okay? If this is not your situation, do not own it. You're going to know if this these messages are for you. So first we're going to do messages, and then I'm going to go to songs, and then I'm going to go to names. The first message I am getting is don't take him back. And they're even doing a parody. I think it's called a parody of a song. So that song, uh, don't let him go, take it easy, take it slow. Instead, they're singing, don't take him back. <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, don't take him back. Uh, tell, uh, uh, don't take him back. Tell him to go and pack. Uh, you deserve a better love. And so, something else. I don't want to go on with it, but because I can't get the beat of the song. Um, but there's somebody out there, or maybe more than one somebody, who... I feel like obviously something just happened or happened a while ago. This person wants to come back and they're saying, just say no. Um, now everybody's situation is different, but if you've been, or if this person has just come back and you're wondering, did he change? No, no. The only thing he changes is his underwear. That's, that's not me. I'm sorry. That's not me. That's them. <laughs> and I didn't even finish that comment. The only thing he changes is his underwear in between interludes. Okay. Okay. That is not me. I don't know this person. Okay. I don't, I don't know this person, but clearly I think it's a man. <laughs> So if you, if a man has recently come back or is going to come back, don't take him back. Um, they're saying a lot about this person and I'm just going to leave that there. There's another message coming through. Um, if you are a person who has been wanting to go horseback riding, just go. Don't wait for anyone. Just go. Go. Get on your horse and ride, Sally, ride. Okay, I know that's a song, but yes, whoever it is that has been wanting to go horseback riding, just find a place and go. It's just that's so don't wait for other people. Go. Um, and then somebody, um, and then also there's a message that um, for someone, you're going to be getting a job offer. Okay, it's a little complicated. There was a company maybe that you interviewed with in November, and that didn't go through for whatever reason, but it was in your best interest because this company or another company is going to come through with a better offer for you. So you couldn't get that offer because it wasn't high enough for you. It wasn't good enough for you. So whether it's this company or another company, they're coming through with a better offer for you, a better position or title or job for you. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to go to songs. And the, the first song that I am hearing, nope, they want me to go to names. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not the boss of me. I am not. They want me to go to names. The first name, name I'm hearing is Joe or Giuseppe. And there could be a Joe and completely separately Giuseppe. The next name I'm hearing is Susan. The next name I'm hearing is Marie and then Marianne. The next, <laughs> and somebody up there has hella humor because they said, and don't forget Ginger. <laughs> if you're, if you know. <laughs> And the reason I'm laughing is because there are people who don't even know that reference because they're younger and they've never watched Gilligan's Island. Okay, if you're not laughing, go watch the show. You will be. That's what passed for entertainment back in the day. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next um the next name I'm hearing is um uh, It's Maligro with an M. Maligro or I don't know how to pronounce it, but if it's something like that. The next name I'm hearing is Nico. The next name I'm hearing is uh, Jennifer. The next name I'm hearing is Jasmine. The next name I'm hearing is Paul. The next name I'm hearing is Willie. The next name, I had to stop and just double check on that and they said, yep, Willie. The next name I'm hearing is Winifred. The next name I'm hearing is Darcy. The next name I'm hearing is JJ. The next name I'm hearing is Jerome. And the next name I'm hearing is, I'm only taking two, two or three more, you guys, because there, you guys, there's a line. There is serious a line around the block here. Um... The next name I'm hearing is uh, Beth. I almost went back to Winifred. Um, Beth, and the next name I'm hearing is, oh, no, 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 Nicole. Nikki, Nicole. The next name I'm hearing is, um, That's that. I'm done with names. I'm done with names. Okay, uh, you guys, if you want to bring your names through on the show, we can. The next, the next thing we're gonna do is songs, and the first song I want, um, I'm hearing, is um, if you wanna ride the something a white pony or the white horse. I know whoever that's for, you're going to know. As soon as I said, if you want to ride, I can't do the, obviously, the voice. And I thought they were going to sing the song, my pony, jump on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's that white, uh, not the not the Katy Perry white horse. It's a guy with a deep voice. Um, if you want to ride going to ride the white horse or something like that, that song. Um, somebody is coming through and saying they're really, really sorry. Um, and then I'm hearing the song, White Lines, Crystal Clear Illusions, Running Through My Mind. So I think that song and the I'm Sorry have something to do with each other, clearly. The next song that I'm hearing is uh, okay um there okay okay i'm gonna do this and then you you just somebody's coming through and they are um they i feel like however they went to the other side was a it was a little bit of too too uh, I have to be careful of what I say because I've already been flagged 
So um, they did too much. They did too much. And if this is for you, you're going to know who that is. But they're really sorry. They didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. Okay, on that, I'm just going to cut all that out. And I'm going to go to callers and questions. Because um, even though this is good, there are people waiting. 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask a question. Connect with somebody you love on the other side. Um, if you are watching live on YouTube, like all the people that uh, do, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. You guys, I, I, like 15, 20 minutes before the show, we're, go, we're already talking. We're already answering questions. So you, if you ever, you can hop on YouTube before the show and join the, the co conversations with us. Hey, Patrick, how's California? Uh, oh, Patrick had a bad day on the golf course yesterday. Um, is his heart okay? Mm, Patrick, you probably need to go see a doctor. You probably need to, you need to get it checked out. And a little bit sooner than, like, don't put it off, off, like, um, yeah, you really do, Patrick. You need to go. I'm hearing sooner than later. I don't want to freak you out, but I think you should call. I think you should probably get it checked out. They're saying ASAP. Um, don't, 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 don't F it. Don't F around and find out, Patrick. That's what I'm hearing. Um, get it checked out. Okay, please get it checked out. Please get it checked out. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Uh, Patrick, I'm happy I read that message right away because that I think is really important. So thank you, Patrick. Godspeed. Be careful. Okay. My friend, don't take, it's not worth the risk. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Keep me posted on that one, Patrick. Um, I have so many questions coming in. Please put your questions in. If you're a person that donates to my channel, like Grandma Kitty, I don't care what your question is. I'm taking it first because you donate. It's just, that's just that's how it works. I will get to everybody else as soon as I can. Um, I love Gilligan too. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go... Uh, La 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 What's that song? Well that song is coming through. That just happened. Um Okay, Grandma Kitty, I'm trying to read what you wrote and then I'm gonna go to the first caller. Okay. I'm going to go to the first caller who is 203203. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, if I get all the way through my swallowing of my beverage, we know we can move on to the next one. 920, what's your name and where are you calling from? Dawn. Hey, Dawn, how can I help you, I'm love? I'm from Wisconsin. How are you? I'm good, love. I'm good. How can I help you, love? Just wanted to know if you see anybody coming into my life. It's pretty lonely, and I guess, you know, holidays contribute to that. Okay, Dawn, the first, thing I, the first thing I hear for you um, meeting someone, I hear yes, no, yes, no. I think there's the potential to meet someone, but I don't know that you're ready yet. Um, is part of what I'm hearing. It's okay. the second thing yeah. I'm hearing that if you do want to meet someone, you may need to get up and get out, not only of your home, but of your area. I feel like the person you oh. meet, there's the potential to meet someone in your area. However, okay, I do. Okay, let me, let me, I'm going to say a few things here. Don and 
Okay. It's going to, I'm kind of saying them backwards, maybe love. So what I'm getting that once you get up and out of your area, like maybe you travel, you take a trip, you take a little vacay, it's going to change your energy. And when you change your energy, then you're going to meet somebody who's in better alignment. So if I can say this another way, you could go out there and meet somebody now, but it might not be somebody with the best energy, right? Um, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to get in our best energy, our best place. We want to kind of, you know, if you've ever, I'm, you know, I don't think it's an insult to compare us to dogs because I think dogs are just amazing. But so you know how when a dog like will bump its head and then it just shakes it off. Us going out to a, 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 a to dance or to go on a vacation is like us shaking it off like a dog will, okay? And then we have new okay. fresh energy. So you really need to travel. Dawn, I see the potential for a cruise coming in. I also see the potential. And I feel these are coming in between, gen, like obviously, you might not be taking the cruise in January, but the opportunity to start planning it is going to be coming in between January and March. I want, it might be as far as June. Between January and March, you could be planning this. Now, if you don't literally take a full on cruise, okay, I feel like you're going to be someplace and be out on the water on on a boat during that or planning it during that time i do feel like you need to get away um and i'm hearing that song um I, well it doesn't matter i'm not gonna sing it i'm just gonna say um they're not letting it go that song rosanna oh yeah uh, something i want to <laughs> da, na, na. Okay, that song. Okay, so now they can stop singing it. I said it, leave me alone. Uh, you guys don't get this. If I don't say it, they won't stop. So mm, I, just, I it's a deal we made. I keep my end. Um, you need to get uh, you need to get get out of the area and get get into a uh, new. Mm, and some fresh, fresh, different scenery, area, everything. Whether you take a cruise or not, maybe you plan the cruise for in September or sometime next year, but you need to travel this winter. You need to get out, be about out of, out of Wisconsin, this like between, um, I'm going to say, they are saying December and um, March. You need to just go plan something travel with someone or travel to someone. And then after that, things will start to fall into place. Okay, my love? <sighs> okay. Does and you Greg have anything to do with the person in my future or no? Yes, of course. Um, and okay, so one of the things I'm getting when you ask that, he's sending someone who does not him only, but other people, they're sending someone who does like to travel. And part of the reason being is because you need to, you know, you only live once and you're at a point where you can, so do it. And you're the, you're more on the fence. Like if you had somebody saying, come on, let's go do this. You would do it. That's your personality type. You're a goer. You're a go along, not a planner. And you need somebody who is the motivator because you'll go. You'll say, yeah, okay, I'm going. Let's go. But you're not always the one to plan mm -hmm. it because that was squashed too many times in the past I'm getting. So now you don't even try to plan Call, call, you know what? I feel like if somebody over the past year offered, let's travel here, let's travel there, hit them up and say, you know what? I wasn't ready then. I'm ready now. Let's plan something. And Dawn, just go do it. 
just go do it. Okay. You need to have your life. When, when you want to meet someone, you need to have your life in a good, happy place. And you need to know that you can be good on your own so that you're not dependent on somebody else to bring that to you. You can go with your friends and you can do this and you can do that. And then if somebody comes in, it's a beautiful accent, not the whole thing. Okay, love? Yeah. Thank you. You are so welcome, my beautiful friend. Um, and I hope all is going well for you. So far, I guess. <laughs> It's go. It's thank it's, you very much, Tony. You are welcome, Don. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, my love. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first question on tickety. No, it's not TikTok. What am I thinking? <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe something is TikToking away. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh. Susan says she has a b brother, Willie, alive. I think I feel my dad, Bill, might have a message for me or uh, let me see. I'm going to have to move it up or down to be able to read it or whoever. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Susan, your Susan is Grandma Kitty. Susan, your okay. I'm waiting for them to finish the sentence and they won't finish it. They're waiting for me to start saying it and they're going to finish it as I'm saying. So I truly don't know what's about to come out. Susan, you're in a place now where you can call your shots and do what you want. So go and do them. Don't wait. Don't stop. Don't hesitate. Get out and go. You're going to have a lot of fun in the springtime. And then uh, they're singing that song. Do you remember? Da -na 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 -na, da -na -na -na. Okay. And, and for anybody who thinks I'm pulling songs, I don't know. I mean, I've heard them, but I... And then they're singing the part on and on. Da -na 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 -na. That that main verse. It, go listen to that song. There's a message in that song for you, Susan. Okay, and then if I if I can. Okay, a, you have. There's a relative. Okay, Susan. There's a relative on the other side, that passed either right before you came in or when you were very young and they've been watching you ever since they've been on the other side and they help you with your imagination. Call on this call on this relative to help you with your imagination and to push your storylines and your punchlines even further. Allow them to take you down a road that you've not seen before. Allow them to walk you through the very dark forest until there is light. Oh, oh. <laughs> sometimes I think I get a little bit more excited for the messages than the people do but we can't tell because like she's not on the line with me so we can't tell okay <clears throat> it's time for you to start your next one don't sit on the morals. I don't know what that means. That's. I think that's a statement of sitting on, you know, you've done this much so far and you're just waiting. Get on the next one. It's time for you to start the next one. And the next one is supposed to expand your boundaries. It's supposed to open you. <laughs> I can't say this next part with a straight face, Susan. So please forgive my little booty. Your next one is supposed to open you up like a flower. I'm telling myself to get it together, but myself won't listen to me.
it's going to open you up like a flower and allow all that you've been repressing that you thought, well, maybe I should do this, but no, it's that's a little too far. It's going to allow all that to spill out onto the pages and create something from a place that you thought you would never go to. You know what that means, Susan. I may not. I'll say it again. <laughs> when I channel, I don't remember what the open you like a flower part. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'm going to just take my take myself to my next caller. <laughs> Susan, I hope you enjoyed that. No, ser seriously, even though I did, even though I danced at, oh my gosh, I was gonna say, even though I danced at open you, it's laughed at, even though I laughed at open you like a flower, because well, that's just me that go back i want you to listen to that again because that's really good your next one is going to dive deeper into you to pull more out of you and when they say into you i think your imagination you're gonna freaking let loose okay nine four nine five four nine five four what's your name and where are you calling from hi johnny it's mary i'm calling from florida um, I have a birthday coming up on Friday, and it's been a very tumultuous time. I just wonder if you have any messages from my loved ones about uh, anything coming up for me, uh, okay. my birthday year. Oh, absolutely. First and foremost, happy birthday, Mary. Can you please give me a name of a loved one so that I can start with one person at least? I can get into the right group or person. Okay, um, I'm going to bring in a, a long-time friend that passed on this date last year. Her name is Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia. Okay. Oh, she is just so dear. Okay, so she, uh, okay, so let me get into this. Sylvia wants to tell you this year coming up is going to have a couple of trials and tribulations, but for the most part, it's going to be good. We don't have to be great. As long as we can skate through the year on good, we're going to be good. There will be one, maybe two trials and tribulations. They're going to be small and you're going to overcome them quickly as long as you use logic and you don't go into fear. The next thing she wants to say is you're going to have just a little, a little extra um, cha-ching or money coming in. Um don't go when you first get this little bit of money don't go crazy thinking it's going to be a regular thing it's not it's going to be just it's going to be a little it's not going to be like uh you know whatever when you get it use it wisely or save it for a rainy day is what i'm hearing the other thing is um i don't, I don't understand the message I don't know why, but Sylvia is showing me a dog. Sylvia is showing me a dog. Do you have a dog here or up there? Or did Sylvia um, have a dog well, here or up there? I had I had several in the past, but I'm a, I also have a big concern over someone else's dog right now that's missing. I don't think that's it. This dog is white with brown or tan, not brown, tan spots on it. Not spots, but well, it's white. I had a poodle that disappeared, a white poodle. And then my mother had a, a gray dog. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say for you. Whatever it is, maybe this is her dog and she wants you to know that all the dogs go to heaven. Whatever it is, whatever this dog, why ever this dog is showing up, um, know it's safe. Know it's with loved ones. 
It's it's with loved ones. And then the other thing that on the she, other side. Yes. I believe yeah, I said okay. yes right away. So I'm gonna say yes. And then the next thing I'm going to say is um don't she is saying, she is saying, not me, her. Um, don't let the little things take you under don't let the little things like overcome you okay and everything's a little and and everything's a little thing okay love yeah that that's great did she say feel anything regarding my health right now which is troublesome okay so i'm going to tell you this i and this is for you and anybody else listening um, I can't talk about health on YouTube, um, but if you would like to talk about health, I offer private sessions and the health readings are very, very good. But the actual, the warning and the show they took down, I talked about health. And so they're very, YouTube is being very particular about what we say about health so what i can say is that might be one of the trials or tribulations but you're going to overcome it very quickly and what i will say to you is if you would like more on that you can get a private session t-o-n-i-g dot i-n-f-o and i'll be happy to help you with that but um if you guys want me to stay on youtube no political no health. We could talk about any other smack jack stuff. None of that. So thank you so much, Mary, for calling in. I'm really grateful. And I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. A very Merry Christmas. Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the questions. And in the beginning, Mich was it Michelle? Who was it? Somebody was asking me a question. Um, and I said, I, I thought I was going to finish answering. Oh, yeah. Uh, Michelle wants to know, do you see me moving out of state? Okay, Michelle, what I'm getting for you, my love, is that you are going to move. Now, if you want to move December or January, it's going to end up costing you a lot more. If you wait until June, it will cost you less. Now, I don't know if that's because of the cost to move things, if that's because of the places that will be available or where you end up staying or the money you'll lose transitioning. I don't know what it is, um, but I do feel like you are gonna go back to Colorado. I feel like you're gonna love it as soon as you get there. I feel like it's going to be a really powerful move for you. If you feel in your heart, you need to go sooner you can. It's. I don't see that if you go sooner, it's a bad thing. I don't see that if you go sooner, it will be, you know, any harm or danger. I just feel like it will be. Uh, um, it will. What the 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 exact, the exact statement is. The exact statement is it will cost you more. So maybe the movers, maybe whatever that means for your situation, and you'll know if and when you try to do it. That's what I'm having for you, my love. Um, I feel like if that costs more financially or in another way, I'm not really sure, and I apologize about that, but that... That is the statement I'm getting. And they're they're saying that you might know uh, what that means um, as far as that, that goes. Okay. Um, hey, Karen. How are you? Laura, welcome to the show. Um, I am going to go to the next caller who is 111. 111. One, one, one. Hmm. No, one, one, one. Nope. No, one, one, one. There might be something going on with the call log, too. So I'm going to go to the next caller, 646. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Good. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, from New York, Esther. Esther, how can I help you today, my love? Well, um, it's my love life. <laughs> oh my God. As I closed my eyes and took the breath in, they said, talk about her love life. I wish I just would say it. I just sometimes wish. I, but you know what? Even if you need to talk about your love life, you might think your work is more important. So I'm happy you said love life. Okay. Give me a direct question about your love life. And I hear the song, ain't nothing oh, but my. a boo thing, baby. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I <laughs> I got a little feeling for my ex, but I don't know if I want to or not. Oh, God, no. I'm so sorry. Please finish your question. Oh, I said I still got a feeling for my ex, but he's been around a little bit. I don't know if this might be the right thing. or I'm, I'm not sure. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. After my show, go back and listen to the beginning of my show. But as soon as you say your ex, I get this feeling in my throat. It's a very pukey feeling. And that means toxicity. This could mean a number of different things. Certain aspects of your relationship with your ex could be really toxic or unhealthy. He could be toxic. He could have some habits that are on unhealthy. Now listen, two people can be two really good people on their own and they come together and for some reason they trigger each other. They're toxic with each other. It's just not the healthiest partnership, right? It, 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 and these two people on their own are very healthy, very intelligent, very good people. But once they come together, it's like, mm, um, what I'm hearing for you, Esther, and please pay attention okay. to all the words. They're saying, step away from the button. <laughs> so what, what they're saying is no, but they're trying to make it funny. What I'm hearing for you is if you... It completely X this out. If you completely say, no, I deserve better than this. It didn't work out for a reason. And those reasons still exist. Uh, neither one of us, you know, he probably didn't change. You probably still want the same, whatever it is. Then with, I hear in January and I see the 28th, you have the potential to meet somebody brand new in alignment with who you are and the type of relationship you want. Okay. It is perfectly, okay. it is so, so normal to still have feelings for our ex. We are not robots. Okay. We're not robots. We're going to have feelings for our ex, we're going to be nostalgia because we are positive people and we always go for the happy memories and we don't always remember the icky-ish stuff. So when we're in that nostalgic moment and the holidays bring up all that nostalgia and because we are alone, we might think, well, maybe no, because all the ish will come with the nostalgia. Now, you're not a robot. You're going to have some feelings that are still mm, good about this person. And what I'm hearing is one, one, one of the things that I've watched people do or helped people do in my office when they are having a little bit of difficulty um, letting go of someone is I say, get some post-it papers or regular papers and just write down some of the things they did or some of the habits they had that were just unacceptable that you would never let them do this to your daughter your mother or somebody that your son somebody that you loved if somebody did this to somebody you loved you would you would 
you'd want to you'd want to pull up and show up. I'm just saying you'd want to pull up and show up and be like, I don't. I don't know how to throw, but you better, you better know how to cat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying you'd get very passionate about it. And okay. what I'm hearing is okay. write that down and post it up. And those feelings will be gone with a quickness. They will be done. They will be over. It will remind your brain because our brain takes the sad, icky things away to protect us so that we don't live in misery. But sometimes we have to remember some of the icky things so we can protect ourselves from not reliving the icky things. Does that make sense? Yes. And I'm just going to yes, say it this. Does. It makes sense. I'm going to say something that's a little bit adult here. He just wants to get his winky wet. Okay. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to say it won't be I worth the price you pay for the ride. It will not be worth right. the price you pay for the ride. Okay. Be and we are all adults, but just in case somebody else is listening, I want to say that in a way that's not so blatant for sensitive ears. So don't go there. It's not worth it. If you can just hold out in January, and I see it being after, in January, there's the potential for somebody brand new to come in, somebody you've never met before, somebody you do not know yet. You are going to meet them through a friend of a friend. They have a good reputation, and they are the type of person that wants a relationship. Now, okay. here's what I'm going to say okay. to my men, my women. Yes, there are people that want to be with you, but what do they want? Do they want to be in a full-on relationship that is building, or do they just want to get together and have some fun, have some drinks and get their winky wet? I am not down for number two. I'm not, I, mm, no. Mm -mm. So yeah, they used to be played out. <laughs> yeah. Choose wisely because if you start playing with this boy, it will you will probably not have this new person come in because this boy will still be playing with you, leading you on, letting you think all through February and into March. And it's going to take you a hot minute oh, wow. to get back to, we no, this is not what I want. And then you're going to have to go through the recovery process again. Okay, my love? Yes, thank you. I appreciate oh, that. You are welcome. You are welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Thank you. You too, to you and your family. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I see that 111 called back in. I'm going to do a question on YouTube, and then I'm going to go to 111. Laura, I love that message. It's so true. Yes, thank you. And I don't know what that was for, but Laura, I, I do agree. These messages, you guys, I would love to take um, credit for some of the stuff that comes through, but I truly am channeling. And it does come through me for a lot of this. Hey, Pine Lakes, how are you? Oh, my goodness, you guys, Pine Lakes. I'm sorry I don't remember your first name. Sent me a picture of his baby girl. And, yeah, wow. It. Yeah, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh... Okay, so Karen wants to know anything from Spirit regarding my son's job. He's 47. Um, Karen, can you give me some context with that? Can you tell me, give me some context. What do you want to know about his job? Okay, love, that will help me a little, little bit. Um, before you, I'm scrolling down, I'm going to have to scroll all the way back up again. Um, 
it's good. Do you want to know, is, is there going to be layoffs? Is he going to quit? Is he going to be able to keep it? Is he moving up? What do you want to know right now? I'm not getting a lot of energy on that, Karen. What I'm getting is it's good. That's it. Um, I do feel like this, I can tell you, Karen, I do feel like he should be looking for something else and not necessarily because we don't only look for a job because we got fired or we think we're going to get fired or any anything about that. Sometimes we need to look because we're discontent or even if we're happy at our job or it's good, it's okay. Um, Sometimes we need to look because there's just something better, right? Um, there's a, a company that will pay us more, give us more uh, right around the corner that we need to go to. Companies will pay new people coming in more than the people who have been there five years. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, right? I, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. They have been laying off people. Okay. Um, he should be looking for another job. That is the message I got before you said that. And that is what I'm getting right now. Still, he should be looking for another job. And even if they don't lay him off, he might find some things that's surprisingly better for him and he might really like it and tell, does he do, he's 47. He probably is not going to want to hear this. Does he do anything with electrical contracting? Because if he doesn't, he should look into how he can get into electrical contracting, be a, an electrical contractor or electrical that's just what I'm hearing, Sweet Pea. Electrical, electrical contractor. And those jobs, that career is, <laughs> the money there is freaking, freaking crazy. It's crazy, especially if you're going into businesses. Um, Yeah, it, he should look just in case he can see what else is out there. Plus, he should look at, tell, uh, I, if that doesn't make sense, the electrical contractor doesn't make sense for him. It could make sense for somebody else listening. If you're thinking about a job move or where you can go or what you, that's coming in strong for somebody if it's not your son. Okay, I'm going to go to 111. 111. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, there's there's a lot of background noise. Can you turn that off, whatever it is? It's gonna stop in ten seconds. Okay, there you go. Sorry, let's get off the train. My my question is that. Okay. There you go. I'd like to know if she's like where I where I have uh, where I'm renting if she's the owner of uh, still uh, working with me. I know she wanted to buy a little office and she just finds me uh, different. Um, yeah, Okay, um, I'm so sorry, but you are so breaking up. Could you please, if I'm on speakerphone, could you take me off of speakerphone? And um, okay, thank yeah, you, uh, thank you I for the know the value. Okay, sorry, ma'am. So, my, my name is Melissa, and my question is that where I'm renting right now a little office week, the, the owner, uh, well, you know, he's still going to work with me. Uh, with my rent, I should be cash up. Okay, and if, if he thinks if he if he's not like, is, is there somebody watching me in my office, like somewhere? That's all, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So there's two questions here. I'm going to try to, I want to make sure I have them correctly. So I'm going to restate what you're stating. Number one, you want to know if your landlord is going to work with you for your rent in your office, correct? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the second question is, you feel like somebody is watching you in your office, so like they have cameras in your office, and they're watching you? Uh, then, then, then inside, but from, from outside. Like, okay, uh, thank you. Maybe, maybe just, maybe it's back a lady. Okay, so the first one, is your landlord, is, there, is her landlord going to work with her, help her? Um, I think here's what I'm going to say to you, and I'm going to give you the answer, and then I'm going to tell you why. Okay, love? I feel like your landlord is not going to work with you, and the reason is because maybe you need to be in a different place that is a safer place and a better place for you. If you feel like somebody is watching you, whether it's inside or outside of your office, you may need to uh be in a completely different location to get rid of this person that might be watching you and that may be like sometimes when we're not willing to let something go or move on and it's not safe for us financially or physically the universe will step in and say well i'm i'm going to push your butt off the cliff if you won't walk off it and it's not a cliff it's just a curb but it feels like a cliff. So I feel like the universe is stepping in to help you get out of a situation where things are not in alignment for you energetically and otherwise. So you can get into a place that is possibly so much better for you on so many other ways. So what I would say is start looking for another space now and you will be happy that you did it. Okay, my love? Um, well, you said, what you just said, it just happened. You got rid of the person four weeks ago. Okay. I, I'm really, really sorry. I'm having just, I'm really sorry. Um, so I know that you waited almost, I, I, I did answer both of your questions and I understand that you have more that you want to say. And here's what I'm going to say for you and everybody listening. Um, I typically answer one question or connect you with one loved one. And sometimes I'll go and give a little bit extra. And I don't mind doing that. Um, but this connection between you and I with the phone is a little sketchy. And I'm having a little bit of difficulty understanding you. If you would like to book a private session and where I... It, there's maybe not as much interference in the phone. I would love to hear the whole story and then um, give you any other information that I get. But as of right now, the answer is start looking for another place for your own safety. I don't think I can be, I, I don't like to be that blunt and that clear, but I'm going to be. Just start looking for another place. And it, part, part of the reason maybe that uh, your landlord is not going to work so well with you is because you need to get out of this place. Again, maybe for your own safety, maybe for a different reason. I don't know. Okay, you guys, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at... Um, um, every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. And then I do pop-up shows. Sometimes I have a guest. Sometimes I don't. Will I do a pop-up show? I don't know. The only way you know is if you uh, hit the buttons that will let you know. Okay, Laura wants to know. Um, obviously, Laura may have asked a question prior to this. Uh, the question is, I'm also wondering if you pick up anything in the romance department 100% believe my family on the other side had the message don't take him back <laughs> you are correct <laughs> you are 100% correct uh what i'm going to say to you for for you and anybody else if a guy if a partner is coming back just like make sure the work's been done. What has changed? If nothing's changed, you're just going to repeat the whole cycle all over again. You're going to go through that whole lesson. And here's the thing. We meet somebody, we catch feelings, we fall in love, we do whatever we do, we go through the whole thing. And then we realize this isn't going well. Maybe there's some, whatever cause it, there's a separation. And then, you know, for whatever reason, 
if they come back unless we've done work and and they've done work, we can do all the work we want. If they haven't done the work, they're just going to drag us down again. We're going to be right there again. The goal is to, to move to the next level and get in that area of somebody brand new that can offer you what you're actually looking for. Somebody who did not give you what you want in the past is not coming back to give it to you. They're coming back to, to, to repeat the past. Okay. Um, let's just go to romance. Is somebody new coming in for her in March? Now, just because it's in February, March, don't think that, oh, you can fool around until that comes in. No, 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 no. Just keep working on yourself. Get stronger. Learn to be resilient on your own. And when this person comes in, be the beautiful powerhouse that you are and learn to keep your independence even in a situation. Now, if somebody wants to take you out, go have a coffee, a cocktail, a, a dinner, whatever it is between now and then, do it as a learning experience. Do it to, to practice dating. Do it to get comfortable with saying no to men or partners, whatever it is. Use it for that experience. Um, even if you know this person isn't coming in until that point, get out there and have experiences um, in uh in um in dating and talking and understanding what to look for and what red flags are it's easier to see them in somebody we're not really interested in than it is in somebody we are you know something that i have i have realized is when when we're younger and i'm super duper guilty of this when we are younger especially as women, but even some men, when people are disrespectful to us or criticize us or make a joke, we'll laugh it off with them. At this point in my life, if somebody is disrespectful, I just, I just, I'm just done. I am. Because that's a core issue with them. And if they do it jokingly, well, first of all, it's probably not so much a joke. But second, if they do it jokingly, they'll continue. 90 seconds. And nobody deserves that. Nobody in this world deserves that. So, um, yes. Okay. You guys, I love you so much. I really do. Uh, Rosella, I like your name. Rosella Rose Girl. Um, Rosella, I do a 60-minute show. I wish you would have been on the show earlier uh paris in december and putting uh, 60 seconds okay the quick answer is uh i can't answer this quickly it's kind of a long question i tried to scan through it i couldn't um rosella i'll be back monday at noon for sure or next wednesday at 7 p.m please come back and ask the question again uh save that question and i will promise come in early and I'm, I'll make sure I get it. Everybody, thank you so much. If I don't get to uh, connect with you before the before whatever holiday you celebrate, um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Um, hopefully I'll see you before New Year's. I'm thinking of doing a Christmas Eve and a Christmas Day show. Let me know what you think of that. Um, and you guys, uh, remember, make some miracles for yourself. If you create miracles for yourself, it you will seconds. automatically go to other people. And that's what we are supposed to be doing here.